USA, do you know Puglia? It's a board game which ensures fun and laughter, especially when the participants are lively and funny people. Created to enhance and promote the Puglia region to future generations. Created by Roberto Banzini, president of the Oli Movie Association, established in the world with the well-known brand I Love Molfetta. This initiative is part of a regional project competition from the Puglia in the World Department. Thanks also to your Balkan Italian festival, the Feast of the Madonna di Martiri, in New Jersey, USA. It has the aim of encouraging the comeback tourism and support the tourist season adjustment of Puglia through various typical elements of our region. These elements are all present within the two decks of 50 cards each, both of which have the same illustrations, but with different colored backs, blue and red, to distinguish them. Before understanding what are the rules and how to play USA, do you know Puglia, let's define what are the roles of this game. Role of the players. There isn't a minimum number of players, but more the number is, more the fun game gives. The Mersin is a figure among the players who assumes the role of the auction officer or the auctioneer. This figure has the task of managing the game and conducting the auction to sell the cards to the other participants. For this reason, he is generally the funniest and most charismatic person who covers this role, just to animate the game and make it even more enjoyable throughout the table. The other players will follow the directions of the auctioneer and buy the cards put up for the auction, trying to get a good bargain. This game is inspired to the realized Mercenate the Fear, but the cards are all new to be discovered and let you know the different Napoleon territories and its traditions. Ready to sell, buy and trade? Rules of the game USA Do You Know Puglia? The image of the cards represent different places to visit in the Puglia region. There are cards with traditional Apulian food dishes, the wonderful Apulian artistic lights made in different towns, photos that identify the American land, the land of the great dreams of many immigrants. Finally, a few more photos of Molfetta and some logos of projects created overseas to keep the roots alive. USA, do you know Apulia how to play? Well, then let's try to understand how this funny game works. You can advise it to your friends and relatives. All together, it will be a great blast. Using only one of the two decks, for example the red one, the person distributes two or three cards to himself to and to each player. The number of cards given depends on the number of participants. The important thing is that, at this stage, a large part of the deck remains in the hands of the Mersin. This operation can be done free of charge or by requesting a participation fee, depending on what has been decided in advance. Each player, having received the cards, can keep them face down or face up in front of him. At this point, the auction can start one of the most exciting moments of the game, especially if the auctioneer has a charismatic and fun way of doing. At this point, the auctioneer must show off his skills to obtain the highest possible amount. He can sell one card at a time or more cards, decide the minimum amount from which the auction starts and even make sales in the dark without revealing the number of cards up to the price. Each player makes its own bid until the auction for each lot of cards ends. There will therefore be players who will get many cards for a few cents and those who will be less lucky because at a high price they will end up with one or two cards. To make the auction even more assimilation, the auctioneer can insert the cards inside the game box itself by shaking it under the table. It will produce a noise that can make the participants understand the amount of cards. However, the estimation that is made will not always be correct and even in this case you can find yourself with very few cards. At the end, or when the cards in the deck chosen for the auction are finished, in our case the red, each player will find himself with a series of cards that can keep face up in front of him. At the center of the table are placed the three six cards of the blue desk. The final prices would vary according to how many you want to achieve and according to the value you want to attribute to each price. At this point, the auctioneer begins to call the cards of the blue deck, one by one to increase the suspense. For each card called, there will be one of the same cards in the possession of the players, who must return it. As each player will see the number of cards in front of him decrease more and more. In this phase, the auctioneer to animate the game can also call 
negotiations, a series of small auctions that will allow players to buy or exchange cards with each other. As the end of the game approaches and the blue cards are revealed, some players may be left and because they don't have any winning cards. The last cards left on the table in all the possession of the remaining players will be the winners of the prizes and as always it will be up to the magician to discover them at one time starting with the smallest prize. Everyone tries their luck with the card they care about most, so buying Playing and exchanging cards, one becomes aware of many places to visit in Puglia. We find Trani, Giovinazzo, the Gargano area, Salento, aiming at the growth of the brand reputation, reaching future generations. What are you waiting for? Come on, call your friends or play at your grandparents' house. Have fun or get to know the Puglia region, the hill of Italy. It is a game, therefore, not competitive, but traditional, wrapped in a folklore that unites and makes everything more beautiful, especially in places where people are open to jokes and laugh.